Amy. Nice job on the cake. Let's have a look. Ooh, Olympic theme. Look at that. Does that mean it's my cake? Um, no. No. It looks really nice, sweetheart. Good job. Me five. All right, go to bed. Love you. Hey everybody, it is Friday, August the 12th, and uh, the girls have just been dropped off at sailing camp. So Tammy's gonna go pick up Ethan from uh, the one camp with his cousin where he's been riding motorbikes. Then she's gonna go pick up the girls. And then when they come home, my day is done, and we go off to camping. And we're towing the boat out to the lake as well. That's gonna be pretty cool. I gotta go get a tea. Oh. It's 2.45 p.m. I haven't even had a lunch break, but I've gotten a lot done this morning. I feel really supercharged. I feel awesome. Part of the reason I feel awesome is that my whole desk now is clean. It's the way I love to have it. Um, this is just a, uh, I need to scan this stuff and then I can get rid of that. Dice that I like to play with. Look at that. That is a nice looking desk. Oh yeah. We're gonna wrap up, pack up, head out camping for the weekend cannot wait okay we're just about get ready to go and we're gonna mount the uh, hitch the receiver I'm gonna put in the uh, towing carabiners I got two of these they're gonna make it a lot easier to hook up the trailer so I'm just gonna time it so you can see how fast uh, or how easy this is to do all right here we go pop out the little caps and then this cover retainer thingy they come out. Plastic cover comes off. Plastic cover comes out. Hitch gets set to unlock mode. And pull it out and turn it. And push that up. Turn the key to lock mode. Don't forget the key. Hitch goes in the receiver. Bam! Time! And you can see our little hooks are in place there. That's what I'm going to chain up to. Perfect. Everybody's now loaded up in the. If possible, now make a U turn if possible. All right. Everybody's loaded up in the Model X. We are ready to go. I just yelled at the kids. I feel better. How about you? And we're sitting at 419 kilometers of rated range now. We're going to travel about 100 kilometers to get to where we're going. 99 clicks right there. And I think pulling the heavy boat, it's probably going to cost us 50% uh, uh, on range. I'm guessing we'll have about 125 kilometers left. That's my guess. Ooh. I just think it'll use a lot, but I don't know. Okay. So we'll wait and see. I'm here to prove you wrong. And then to hear those magical words, which are... <laughs> You are, I, uh, you I was are wrong right. and you were right. Yeah, I you love were those. right and I was wrong. I love those. Mm -hmm. Summer is gone. But the summer is gone. Okay, got the boat attached. That was easy, quick. And we're gonna use the same path that Tammy drove yesterday. Yesterday we did a reference run. Uh, we're gonna go the same path. We're gonna do the same speed. She did 100 kilometers an hour, you said. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. And, uh, and then we'll compare the uh, utilization and uh, see what, what the impact was for pulling the boat. This is the same trip we'll be making tomorrow with the boat to give you some numbers of reference. So there's Mike right there. Um, right now I'm doing about 100 kilometers an hour. I'm following him. My usage right now is 140. So it'll be really good to, to compare it with what we get when we're pulling the boat tomorrow. And it says we're gonna get there with about 59% charge remaining. And right now our consumption's really low, 175 watt hours per kilometer. So, as you can see, gas stations are... Yeah, I'm not... 
So I made it to the campground. There's my averages. So we will compare it to our trip tomorrow, which is with the boat. So we're set at 100. That's what you had yesterday. Yeah. But the summer is gone. So we've covered 35 kilometers so far. Everything's going great. Towing's going nice. I really wish auto steer was here. Tesla, give us auto steer when we're towing. Maybe limit the speed to maximum of the speed limit or whatever, but auto steer would be so nice because we've gotten so used to it. Amelia, how you doing, sweetie? Good. Tell us about your sailing. Last day at sailing camp, was the cake a big hit? Yeah. Yeah? We won the best food award. You won the best food award? So take a look at that. That's driving normally, and that is towing like a boss. Oh yeah. Tammy just reminded me, bike rack. We're gonna get a bike rack mount for the back of this thing that will tow six bikes. It looks awesome. Yeah, they hang vertical, so they actually get some better spacing between them, I think, than the ones that kind of stack them yeah. vertic horizontally. Right. Yeah. And it'll hold six. It's the only one I've seen. And it'll hold six. And then we can do um, cool bike rides. Like where the girls went for sailing camp, Glenmore Reservoir. I'll show you a map. Um, you can actually bike around the entire reservoir. I think the last time we did it, it was 16 kilometers, about 10 miles. And little Melissa That's even did it. Time. She was six years old at the time. She's got this awesome mountain bike. Super fast. Smoked everybody. It was a fun ride. Olympics are on. The only thing I've seen is the uh, YouTube video of the guy gymnast. He did his thing on the mat and then he landed it beautifully, except his leg broke in a really bad and ugly way and it was like hanging off to the side. And then I saw another guy, he was a weightlifter, picks up his weights and his left arm, when he put them over his head, his left arm buckled back. It went the wrong way, like the way your arm should. So he blew his elbow out very bad. Yeah, not only did he not get a medal, but he's in severe pain, I bet. If you're watching the Olympics, good job. Uh, let me know how it goes. But the summer is gone. We've been averaging 472 watt hours per kilometer so far. Trip computer says we've got. Uh, 130 kilometers of range and then we're gonna make it with 52%. Wow, look at that cloud straight ahead. Yes. <sighs> nice. Not really. Well, that was fun. Lots of questions at the gas station. Oh, was there? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what? There was. There was one guy. He was. Uh, He's asking me, what's, up? what's your boat weigh? Because <laughs> he's looking at the Model X, not that big. He's looking at the boat. So I said, yeah, it's all electric. He's like, no way. I said, yeah, it's all electric and it's towing the boat. He was pretty surprised. No, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, we got some double takes on the highway too. Yeah. Hey, kids of mine, should yeah. we stop for candy in Nanton? Yeah. This is the town of Nanton, Alberta. Best candy ever. Whoa. Best ice cream ever. Whoa. We gotta stop. Pretty good ice cream. There's just no I two ways about it. We gotta stop. We're just right. stopping for candy though. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All the money we saved on gas, we're gonna dump it into candy. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay girls, one thing, what are you picking? You don't know yet? No. What are you picking? I'm the mom, I don't pick one thing. Oh really? <laughs> 
bacon candy. Best candy ever. Okay, hop in everybody, move your seat back. Everybody sugared up? Oh, look, look at all the blood. Mine. This is so this cool. instead of supper. Dad, look at Amelia's drawing. No, we need supper. No. Dad, look at me. All right, here we go. Oh, look over, look. They really look are. Can I have one, please? It's butter. Running at an average of 501 watt hours per kilometer, 428 since our last charge. So, not a bad average though. All right, we made it. We are here and we made it with 38%, so a little less than I expected. So, when we filled up with fuel in um, Nanton, I think, what did we fill up with? The boat had half a tank, I think, and uh, we added. 56 liters, which is, I think, 56 kilos, which is probably about 120 pounds that we added. So a light person uh, was added to the boat. But uh, I think there was more of a wind because coming here, check this out. So we we made it down to 38%, a little lower than expected. Consumption was uh, 492 average. And since our last charge, it was 449. So not too bad at all. We have 161 kilometers of rated range left. Not too shabby at all. We're gonna go set up our camp and plug in. And there's a pokey stop here, so the kids are gonna be Pokemoning all day long. Oh yeah, the kids. There's, the cards. There's, there's no uh, the gym SIM card element. But the summer is gone. Summer is gone. All right, so this is the end that's going to go into the uh, post 24 amps. It's a 30 amp post, but we only we set the Tesla to 24 amps so that we don't pop the breaker. This guy goes in here like so. This goes into the post. Go. I usually like to wrap it around once around the post. That way, if somebody kicks it or trips on it, it's not going to jerk out. It's not gonna pull out, yep. So if I do that, just like so. And then what, what we should do is we'll just pull. Can you just let go? No. All right, so our cable is run. That is a good thing because it means it's ready to charge the Tesla. All right, we made it, got the uh, Cora pulled into place right beside the boat and now we're gonna plug in okay we're plugged in and charging I dialed this back down to 24 amps just to be safe we don't want to be uh, popping a breaker or heating up the cord too much and look at that we're at 10 kilometers an hour that'll probably go up to 12 or 13 kilometers an hour and yeah only 21 hours and 45 minutes to get us to 95% but we're camping. We got nothing better to do. Hello. There is no spoon. This is our dinner table in the trailer. <laughs> it's a little cramped because okay. there's a lot of us in here, but and they're getting good. bigger. <laughs> okay, so. Make sure I have some vegetables. <laughs> Magical. What? Well, we made it just fine. Um, the Model X Cora towed the boat no problem. We got her plugged in 21 hours and it'll be full. So that means tomorrow night around 9 p.m. Good night, everybody. But the summer is gone.